Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another college vlog. Today's Saturday and I'm in such a good mood today because I got so much done today and it was all fun things. You guys know that I spend like pretty much every waking second studying it feels like. This semester has been like a really tough one in terms of like work outside of class. But today I had a much needed girls day with Alyssa. We went and got breakfast this morning and then we just did a bunch of shopping. I attended Ulta's Beauty Fest event and I was working with them for this event so I got to document the whole thing on Instagram. So if you're not following me already you guys should go follow me and check out that Instagram story I also got to go to the grand opening weekend for Versona which is a really cute store that sells boutique items and accessories so that was a lot of fun I found a lot of really cute stuff and I'm gonna show you guys later in this vlog but yeah so far today has been a great day I'm starting this vlog off at such an odd time I would have vlogged like today while I was out but so much of what I was doing was basically vlogging for my Instagram stories so I didn't want to have like my camera out and then my phone out and then my camera out again plus I really wanted to kind of live in the moment a little bit more with Alyssa because we had not hung out in so long so I didn't really want to just like pull my camera out and have it in her face we were trying to catch up here's the deal this morning I went to Starbucks at 6 a.m. and I did a bunch of studying for like two hours before I went out to breakfast and stuff with Alyssa and I created this whole review for chapter 30 but I didn't actually study it yet and this is all on the male reproductive system which was a real fun chapter to have your slideshows open at Starbucks and as I was like flipping through the slides just like hoping no one's looking at my computer screen because they're probably wondering like what is she looking at <laughs> Wait, go ahead. got finished going through my SI worksheet on my iPad and then, and then I also just went through my review sheet from this morning um, and end up being 35 questions so it's really not that bad I condensed the lab slides a lot with that I know you guys are really wanting me to do a video showing you guys how I create study guides and I really want to do that video and I am working on it it's just that I might have a collaboration coming where that can tie into it so that's why I've been kind of holding off because I'm waiting for this brand to hear back from but it is in the works and I'm really hoping to have it posted before the end of the semester but now I think I'm going to take a little break and go make some tea because it's too late at this point for me to make coffee plus I've already had two coffees today so I probably don't need any more coffee but I like having tea in the evenings when I'm studying because it's not like a bunch of caffeine and it's just kind of calming usually whenever I make tea I use our water cooler thing over there because it can do hot and cold water but I'm gonna use this today whenever Chad's here we use this but I hate it because it scares me whenever it like makes the sound that it's done that like squealing sound because it sounds like something off a horror movie. So I have green tea with mint or I can do this chamomile herbal tea. I think I'm going to do the chamomile. I'm just going to add a little bit of honey to this so when I pour the hot water on top it'll melt. It's so creepy. I don't know why that sound makes me panic so much but it does. Okay, I'm about to put all this stuff away, but I wanted to do a little mini haul and show you guys what I got today. So I told you guys I went to Ulta's Beauty Fest event. The thing I got is the all-nighter spray, which I've been using this forever, and I was about to get the normal-sized one, and then one of the employees showed me that they had the XL version, which is amazing because it's literally double the size, and it's only like $10 more. So this is definitely worth getting if you guys use the all-nighter spray. I also got some Real Techniques Beauty Blenders. These are the ones that I've been using forever. I love these. You guys know that right now I've been mostly just using a CC cream, but throughout the day I feel like my foundation just kind of like wears down. So I wanted to go back to a more full coverage foundation, and I used this in the past, so I just decided to go back to it. 
And then I got some lip products. These are ColourPop. I got a lip liner in the shade BFF, and this color is literally so pretty. I'm not gonna swatch it for you guys, but you can pretty much see the color. It's so pretty. Then I got one of their Lippy Sticks, I think it's called. This is so pretty too. Sorry, I'm trying to do this with one hand, so if it looks weird, that's why. This one is in the shade Cookie, and I fell in love with it. It is the prettiest color ever. It's like a dark neutral color, but it's perfect for like the fall, winter time. And then the last thing I got was the Ultra Matte Lip. The color is so pretty. It's in the shade Beeper, and this one is like pretty dark, but it looks so good. So that's everything from Ulta, and then moving on to Versona. You guys should definitely check out Versona because their stuff is super affordable, and they just opened 200 new stores across the nation, so you might have one near you. I got a pair of shoes. These are some really cute taupe colored booties. I'm obsessed with the larger heel and the way that it dips down in the front. These are just like really flattering on. And I don't have any booties that are this color. And here I got this really cute chambray top. I actually tried this on. So if you watch my Instagram stories, then you already saw this. Oh my gosh. The tag is still on it. Are you serious? Wow. That's really frustrating because... They actually forgot to pull one of the tags off of one of the other items that I got and I had to go back in because like the beeper went off when I was leaving the store and now there's another one. I'm gonna have to go get the tag removed but here's what this top looks like. It's really cute. I love the buttons. They're like a copper color and it's just really really pretty and it like dips down like kind of low in the back so it's gonna be really 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 cute with like leggings or something also got this really really cute robe this is like probably my favorite thing that i got to be honest with you it's a huge fluffy robe and you guys know i wear my white one like all the time so i got this one in an xl because i wanted it to be super oversized and it's like that sherpa material but it's actually the softest thing that i ever touched in my whole life and it was only 30 dollars. so i'm gonna be wearing this like every morning when i'm studying now because it's the coziest thing in the world and then i also got a pack of scrunchies these scrunchies are like just as soft as this if you can imagine and i just got this neutral colored pack they had so many to choose from and it like took me forever to make the decision on which one to get but i really really love these they're gonna be like perfect to put my hair up at night i also got a bracelet and it's not here I found this really cute bracelet. I even shared it on Instagram stories. It looks just like a David Yurman bracelet and it's not here. So I guess they forgot to put it in the bag. And I know I got charged for it because it's on the receipt. You guys have been watching me long enough to know that I like to make little rap songs to help me remember what I'm studying. So I thought I would show you guys my latest Instagram story once I get past all this stuff from today. Oh, here we go. Interstitial cells are also known as lady dick. When I say lady dick, you say what? Andro, gin, andro, gin. Cells outside of the seminiferous tubules. And they produce androgen. Do you know? Of course I know. What don't I know? Oh! It gets pretty lit in here when I'm studying. Okay guys, it's almost 10 and that's kind of late for me even though most people are like 10 o'clock, what? I'm gonna take my laptop to bed with me and just work on medical term homework and then go to bed really soon and then my plan is to wake up at like 6 a.m. tomorrow. I have a yoga class at nine but like tomorrow morning I'm gonna wake up at 6 a.m have my like relaxing morning, drink some coffee until about 6.30 and then I'm gonna come in here and start my college algebra homework because I didn't get any of that done today even though it was on my to-do list. So it's moving to the top of my list tomorrow. Well, I'll talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's 6.30 a.m. and I am sitting on my couch watching the news because that's what you do when you get old and i'm drinking my coffee i just went and put my tinted moisturizer on that's why my skin looks half decent right now not that it looks bad before but you guys know i just like have an issue with redness but i don't have yoga until nine so i'm going to go work on college algebra homework for like an hour this morning and then i'm gonna start like cleaning up because we're decorating our house for christmas today so i'm super pumped when i get back from yoga i'm just gonna hop in the shower and then we're gonna start cleaning and decorating except chad needs to go up in the attic and get all of our christmas decor down i can't wait to take all of the halloween and fall stuff down i am starting my college algebra homework luckily it looks like at least these first couple sections oh no i lied it is asking me for a solution set too early to be doing algebra all 
All right, the moment of truth. An ordered pair, I only got one answer. Okay, hold on. Three, that doesn't even divide. Maybe I'm supposed to plug it back into the other one. Okay, now I have two answers. It's a good thing this class is almost over because I can't take this much longer. <laughs> Come on, maybe it's like no solution or something. <laughs> oh my god, I hate this. Okay guys, it's about 8.35. I'm about to leave for yoga. I'm just wearing all black today. This is a tank top from Target, I think, and then just my black, very worn down Nike sports bra, and then my airy leggings, and just some flip-flops because we don't wear any shoes when you do yoga. And I'm super excited because I am buying my yoga mat at the studio today, and I just can't wait to get a yoga mat that I'm not going to slip around on. I just got to Yoga Lab. I am literally freezing, you guys. It's 54 degrees out right now, which I think is the coldest that it's been this year in Florida. So I had to like run back in the house and get this cardigan because otherwise I'd be freezing and I have the heat on in my car right now which is a really rare occasion. I'm about to go in get my Sunday sweat on. I just got home from yoga. I am so sweaty it's gross so I'm going to actually I was thinking about getting a shower and then starting to clean but I'm thinking I'm not really gonna get any cleaner cleaning the house so maybe I'll just stay gross clean the house then shower then decorate. Also forgot to mention, I didn't end up getting a mat even though I wanted to. They did not have any colors that I liked. They actually only had one left and it was like this bright neon orange color and I just didn't want that. I wanted a plain black one. So I asked them at the front like if she had any more but she said there's some at like one of their other locations and she's going there tomorrow so she's gonna bring me one. So maybe during my class tomorrow or like another day this week I'll be able to get it. But I had to rent one of their mats today and that's so annoying because I don't wanna like spend money renting a mat. I just wanna buy one so I have it. It's like like two hours later, I sweeped and mopped all the floors. I dusted everything that can be dusted. I cleared our counters and disinfected everything. Basically everything in the house is clean now. We're waiting for the floors to dry so we can let the dogs out of the bedroom. And Chad is going up in the attic and getting down our Christmas stuff now. So I'm about to start decking the halls. So I have three bins like this to go through. And then we have two more bins. One of them is outdoor lights and then the other one is Christmas tree decorations and we're not getting our Christmas tree until November 30th. So for now, I'm just decorating all this stuff in the house. I am literally so excited, you guys. I have so much Christmas stuff. This is the best time of year. So this little Christmas tree here with all of these lights was made by me in a ceramics class like a couple years ago and it is the cutest thing ever. I made this. It was just white and I had to do everything you know you do in ceramics. So like buff it, paint it, glue all of these on there and you have to do a lot of like brush strokes with different colors to get this like dimension on the green part. It's the cutest thing ever. I just got finished curling my hair and getting ready. I have not curled my hair in so long, like this is a first for me in a while so it looks so weird to me to have like this big voluminous hair. It also helps that it's like three day old hair so it just like naturally has more volume from the, all the dry shampoo. Are you coming in for outfit assistance? Yeah, I don't Look. know how I feel about this. It looks really Shirt. good. Or whatever it is. Yeah, it looks good. Wear that, I like it. You look handsome. Anyways, my lip color today, I have on this lip liner that's ColourPop that I showed you guys from yesterday and then I also just put this over it, the lip crown in Cookie. It's really pretty and very fall. I just changed my outfit because I'm gonna make Chad take a picture of me in this little cardigan. And I always look so done up and we're literally just running some errands. We're gonna go look at some furniture. We have to go to Target and then we're gonna go grocery shopping, so. But I brought a sweater to change into, so it's a little more, a little less dressed up. We're back home now. I did not really vlog much while we were out because I was just honestly trying to focus on what we were doing because we were in kind of a rush. We went to like so many different stores. We went and looked at furniture because I really want to get a new TV stand like before we get our Christmas tree because I hate our current TV stand. Um, and then we were also just like looking for couches for fun because eventually we want to get a new couch. I thought I would show you guys some of the stuff we got from Publix. I already put a bunch of stuff away, but I got this broccoli stir fry for a dinner for me to make for myself later this week. I'm just gonna do like soy sauce and put it over rice. And then I also got this salad kit if you guys shop at Publix. These salad kits are so good. This is the apple cheese and walnut one. I ate this so much at the beginning of the year and I haven't had it in forever, so I got one of these. And then I got some strawberries and pineapple, a couple of yogurts, and then Chad and I got the Sweet Lauren's gluten-free oatmeal cranberry cookie dough. 
because we're doing a campfire tonight and we thought it'd be really nice to have some freshly baked cookies while we are sitting out by the campfire. And then at Target, I got some more of these magnetic Expo markers for the little dry erase board that we keep on our fridge. I got these because these are my favorite Hershey Kisses around the holidays and I have a little candy dish I'm gonna put them in. These are so good if you haven't tried the candy cane Hershey Kisses. You need to get yourself some. Then I got some regular black ones for my whiteboard in my office. I got this eucalyptus and sage essential oil from Target. That'd be calming to have in our diffuser at night in our room. I'm not gonna do a full blown house tour or anything, but I just wanna show you guys like a few of the little Christmas things that I have. So I showed you guys that little tree earlier. This is kind of what our TV stand looks like. I have a Yule log on right now. I have these really cute coasters that say, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I think these are from the Target dollar section. A lot of this stuff is from Target. Like the dollar section or just like the decor section. This little sled, I love this, it is so cute. I think I found this last year or the year before that. This little bear, which actually lights up in the inside, it's just like really faint, you can barely see it. Um, but he's super cute, Chad's grandma got me this. I have some cute little pillows on our couch and then I have this little throw here and then this is like our super soft blanket. I love this blanket, I think it's from TJ Maxx and this is like, I have like one of these for every season that I throw on the couch for like in the mornings. Here's what our table looks like. I have this little basket for napkins, this little tree, which is from the Target dollar section from this year, a um, little candy dish. Like some shelves up here with some stockings. Picture of Chad and I in the Georgia mountains. I have a little rug there. This cute little sign that's from the Target dollar section. This little rug in our kitchen. And then ignore all of that. There's like a lot of clutter back there, but I just have like these little string lights in the kitchen. And this is our little entry table. I just have this little present that has lights all throughout it. And then a picture of Chad and I, and then my iron, cause I'm waiting for it to cool down before I take it back out to the garage. And that's pretty much it for Christmas decor. So I guess it's not a ton. So I do have like a couple more things, but I don't want to take everything out yet because like I said, we're thinking about getting a new TV stand. So there's like a couple things I want to put up there. And I also like don't want it to look super cluttered this year. I just don't want to go too crazy because in years past, I've like had too many decorations, I feel like. Chef Chad just whipped up some tortellini and meat sauce, some red wine with this delicious dinner. And then after this, it's campfire and s'mores time. I just put my cozy little Sherpa on because I'm about to go sit outside by the campfire. Chad just got it all set up and it is so cold outside though. Like we're so not used to this, but I love it so much. We have these lights outside on our deck and they just make it so peaceful out here. Sitting outside being illuminated by the fire. Chad needs to turn off our floodlight. Can you turn that light off? Oh, okay. Some A1 lighting right now. Roast and marshmallows with my Deep House Relax music playing. This is the life. It's kind of late now. Chad and I just finished eating those cookies. They were so good and we're watching Breaking Bad and my makeup's like down to here. But I am gonna go ahead and end the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.